Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to fix that type of error. Actually, uh, that type of error occurs in uh, earlier version of uh, identity or ASP.NET Core or you can say the Visual Studio uh, 2019 and uh, earlier version that is uh, 2019, uh, 2020, 2021 that is the earlier version of uh, uh, Visual Studio. So that type of problem occurs with the identity uh, that is the written URL field is required every time um, when you log in that type of error message or the, you can say the model validation error in uh, ASP.NET Core identity occurs. So what should I do for this uh, types of error? Uh, this is the simple thing you can do that is the written URL field in the login form. You can say that here we have a login form and uh, if you can see in the login form that is actually exist in areas uh, identity in your solution explorer you can see that uh, here we have a admin, uh, areas and the identity pages accounts and here we have a login.cshtml file in the accounts folder in the cshtml file just open and expand the login.cshtml uh, and you can see that the login.cshtml.cs file that is the code behind file of your uh, login file and here you can see that uh, I have uh, the own get method in when you click uh, when you click login then that type of error occurs on that I mean to say that uh, your error message is occurred on the get request so just open the get request on get async and here you can see that that is the written URL is null and represent text as a sequence of and cannot convert null little to non nullable reference type this is the non nullable reference type so just make a nullable reference type that is by using the question mark sign so if you put the question mark sign in just after your data type then make your uh, written url is nullable okay so the same thing you can do in the post action method here you can do and here you can this the your uh, error code is fixed and just after when you log in or register uh, just open the register.css table also and where you can see also your the same URL same the error messages and here you can see that already applied by me that is the written URL and same thing in doing in the on get uh, sync so if you got that type of error then remove easily by using the question mark sign that is make to null of your properties like written URL so uh, just start your project again after uh, uh, set this types of things in your uh, identity uh, razor pages and you will see that your problem will be solved easily Wait for some time to run your project and you will see that your problem will be solved easily by just uh, adding your question mark sign in just after your data type and here we go thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget please subscribe my channel and like this video